Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, working on a couple engines today. I got Larry's uh, L134 here. And I've been tearing it apart. I'm going to show you the crank here. I think I can get you in there. Okay. Now as you can see, I can catch that with my nail there. This is where the radius of the crank would be. There'd be a radius in there on both sides. Uh, that has been worn away. I'm going to show you what a cap looks like on there. You can see that shucking back and forth. Uh, there's 25, uh, depending on which, which one, there's anywhere from 25 to 28 thousandths that that crank has worn. Uh, the, the caps, they're not too bad, but the crank, the, the radius on every single one of these has been chewed away by the cap. Uh, sadly, uh, this crank is junk. Uh, it's not worth... Um, you wouldn't weld all those up and, 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 and re-grind it. Uh, the crank is just is, is junk. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use this one. This is an early crank, uh, non-bolted-on counterweights. Uh, it's got the 716 studs in the rods. Um, it's an early motor. Uh, it's it's um, gear drive, so it's not super early, but it's still early enough where it's got the non-bolt-on counterweights. Uh, and like I say, we're not going to be able to save this crank. Um, it's, it's too far gone, and everything is, I'll bring these other two up, and you can see everything is worn. Just look at the space you have here. Look how much that wore. The, the, this part of the crank is supposed to be over, you know, closer to where that line is there. We, we lost a tremendous amount of material. I'm not sure why it wore so bad, but it did and that's not good um, I'll flip this over and show you uh, what the cylinder head looks like not the cylinder head but the top of the block the cylinder head on here was a uh, Ford GPW head and that was a bad shape so uh, Larry did send me a uh, the correct head I haven't looked at it yet I don't know what that's gonna be like but let me flip this over for you yeah, crank just fell right out. We don't care about that. That's junk. Okay. Now. We've got a couple broken studs here and here. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I've got some pictures. You can see where the mice got in there. They brought some corn into the cylinders and stuff like that. Uh, cylinders right now are 20 over. And in here you can see this spring and this spring. Uh, first three springs are in incorrectly. The fourth one is incorrect. And the rest of them are incorrectly. These tightly spaced coils are supposed to be up. Uh, eliminates valve float. So somebody's been in here before. Didn't do the greatest work in here. But uh, we'll try and get it straightened out. Um, I'll get the valves out and uh, we'll clean this up and see where we're at. But uh, things are happening, Larry. We're, uh, we're making progress. I did not expect that we need a crank, but we do. And we'll just keep chipping away at it and I'll keep you posted what's happening uh, as it happens. But uh, a little more disassembly. You can see where I took the core plugs out. They're just full of junk. But uh, I'll get this guy cleaned up, and uh, we'll revisit it when it's ready for machine work. So, just a quick update for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.